Shan asks a question. Hi all, how do I create a solution and import set of tables from one environment to another environment? Can someone please suggest, and I scrunch there? Yeah, suggest, that was, thank you. Just. <laughs> well, we are talking about the Power Platform and we are talking about uh, moving an environment objects from one environment to another environment. So don't think of an environment like one tenant to another tenant. You could have multiple environments inside of a single subscription. So it's almost like containers. We're moving objects from a container to another container. And if you're in the Power Platform and you want to move something like tables from one environment to another, your go-to should be a solution with a capital S. And that is a, a project, if you will. It's just another container where you are going to reference objects that are either delivered from something like Dataverse or something that you've created inside of Dataverse or the different components. And when you add it to the solution, you can do something called export. Well, I mean, that sound more important or technical than it is. But anyway, you can package it up into a zip file and move it out. But the interesting thing is, is that you can have options where you could do it's a managed solution, so no one can touch like the source code, if you will, or it can be unmanaged, so you can deliver something that people can develop. So now you're you're kind of touching on this pro dev ALM type stuff, but uh, I use it all the time, moving objects around from like dev to prod or test to to prod, um, and packaging things up in solutions is a great way just to move the objects. Does anyone else have experience moving objects around uh, from environment to environment? I'm more a little old school <laughs> and it would just be macro. You could just do a simple macro and it depends on their skill sets, I suppose. And it depends on what the depth of the knowledge they're trying to bring across and a what few type other of solution. things. But, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. I so say we don't know what the solution is, what they're trying to bring and from where they're trying to bring it. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, this is uh, look. We all we all you know were in the SharePoint world previously, and you know that th this was an issue with components that were built and whether they'd migrate or not. And then we had you know kind of uh, um, you know the 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 evolution of solutions within SharePoint, which is now kind of what we're we're talking about now, and we we have over in the Power Platform. But is this is another reason to have some kind of oversight or governance model in place because if i have a plan to go and build something and as i start working through if i'm advising with other experts within the organization that might ask questions about you know whether this can be supported and scalable you know outside of my team out you know across environments whatever those things are um, that's why there should be some kind of process and that's why but norm you're right you know and this is in the alm world it's a you know having a change management mindset and reviewing the scalability and the supportability of solutions that are built so that if it needs to be moved it can be safely moved and operate the right way and all those kind of fun things but not to take the conversation sideways but regardless of moving things around having those processes in place, just important for overall life cycle management of yep. solutions you create in your environment. And there are lots of best practices that are out there. I mean, that's part of what, um, I mean, you, you, you have, you know, governance, you know, methodologies and things that are out there. You have a lot of experts from the MVP community and beyond on, you know, guidance on this specific issue of, of governance. So. You don't have to recreate, start, you know, create your own methodology and process. You can leverage heavily from the community. Absolutely. And Shan's question is, is only one half of the equation when you think about it, whether it's a Power Platform or SharePoint that we talked about, you can create the schema of your table or your list, but you still have to move that data over. Yeah. And that's where it gets a little more tricky. So there's out of the box tools, but there's also the third party tools that a lot of us like to use. Good question.